So this is going to get interesting. The other day, they blasted over the loudspeakers, stating that garbage collection is going to be halted for seven days. My wife also got a notice from her friend stating basically the same thing. So she actually got on the phone with her sister and started talking about the situation because it was kind of a, a rare or unheard of thing, especially in this area. But it turns out it looks like the garbage dump itself is full. So they really don't have a place to put any of the garbage. They have to find a new location, which is totally awesome. But yeah, on that call with her sister, come to find out, she also got a similar notice for the area that she lives. And yeah, she's in the Pitsunolok area, but she's on the other side of Pitsunolok, which is like a 25-minute drive from where we live. So at first we thought it was just the sub-district that we live in that was having this issue. But it looks like it's a little bit more widespread. So this is going to get very interesting, especially if they shut down the collection for more than seven days. We're going to find out. It could get really smelly and stinky and really nasty real fast. So when my wife was talking to her sister, she asked, Hey, have you ever run into this? And her sister's lived in this area for a very, very, very long time. And uh, she said, no, well, this has never happened. So I guess it took, you know, 30, 40, 50 years to fill up that garbage dump. But again, still, they have a problem. they got to find a new one. I kind of don't think that they're going to be able to get it done. But I'm just thinking worst case scenario. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of like all the businesses and things like that. What are they going to do? Where are they going to put their garbage? I mean, I'm, I'm worried about KFC. Like, are they just going to back up with garbage everywhere? So what am I doing right now? Uh, the last pickup is on Monday. And then everybody suffers. So I have bags of trash, last bags of trash that I'm taking to our little uh, garbage area. They'll pick it up in the morning and then everybody has to get very creative uh, with their storage techniques. So my wife is talking about possibly burning trash and organics, you know, digging holes or spreading it out amongst the trees as natural fertilizer or whatnot, but it's going to get very interesting. The Great Garbage Crisis of Pits and Alok, 2024. One of the apartment buildings or dorms in the area, they had actually talked about digging a pit in the back of their land so all the students could start dumping their garbage. So that's kind of extreme, but it might uh, might be the only solution for them. Again, people are preparing for the worst here. So this is what it looks like Sunday. The last garbage will be on Monday. So let's see how much piles up here. I feel sorry for the people that live directly opposite this little uh, garbage pile because it's gonna start to stink pretty bad. But you can see these weird like recycled tire Things. These are the garbage cans for this side of the street. Uh, there's like you know, one, two, three, four. Some don't put it out because they're scared that uh, other neighbors are going to use it. But again, the street is probably going to get littered with garbage after a week. It'll probably be looking like in New York when uh, like union workers go on strike or something like that. But the one thing that has always amazed me is that in Thailand, there's not a lot of garbage everywhere, or at least garbage uh, cans. There's not a lot, it's really weird. So for the homes that are in the middle, that little door there, uh, if you open that up, that's where you're gonna actually, I'll open it up, this is our, our neighbors, but the garbage can would go inside here. It's a pretty nice little, convenient receptacle to hide it instead of having it just out in the open here. I almost forgot we actually had the same problem at our other home in the Pichet province. The garbage dump had filled up completely and the, the government people had no idea where they were going to put it so they basically stopped and shut down all of the garbage pickup. This forced all the residents of the area that we are living in to start collecting all of the garbage in the back of their, their land of their home and it forced everybody to start burning their trash 
And as you know, a lot of that trash contains styrofoam and plastic, so it was pretty nasty. You'd have a lot of this, you know, acrid smoke pouring into your home, uh, you know, because a neighbor was burning their garbage. Um, there was one point where I remember filling up a bag of used cat litter, and we actually had to drive it to a store down the road that actually still had garbage pickup, and I dumped it there. So is it going to get that ugly here, where I'm going to have to start taking cat litter to another province? Uh, I, I don't know. So we're going to see. We're we'll take some video of the trash situation uh, down with the, the community one that I dumped the garbage off the other day. And we'll see how bad it gets. And that will determine whether or not we have to take it somewhere else. They said it will be shut down for seven days, so we'll see if that's true or not. But I have a sneaky feeling it may be just like how it was in Pitchett, where it turned out to be you know several months. So I hope that is not the case. I mean, this is a big city, big area. So hopefully they figure it out fast. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please click one of the video links below or click the playlist.